welcome students i am back with another lecture on chromosomal anomalies and this time we are discussing down syndrome which is an autosomal anomaly trisomy is simply the sorry down syndrome is simply the trisomy of 21st chromosome so in down syndrome simply trisomy of 21st chromosome occurs that is 21st chromosome is present thrice which it should not have been it should have been only twice this is the normal pair 21st pair of chromosomes this 21st pair but one extra copy one extra copy of 21st chromosome is also present one extra copy of 21st chromosome is also present in down syndrome that's why we say it is trisomy as you know trisomy is 2n plus 1 so the chromosome number in case of persons suffering from down syndrome in humans would be 46 plus 1 is equal to 47 okay now the reasons why a person suffers from down syndrome it is because of the non disjunction non disjunction of 21st pair of chromosomes the non disjunction of 21st pair of chromosomes during oogenesis mostly in females above the age of 34 this is the 21st pair of chromosomes now what should happen or what happens during the meas is that this chromosome will get separated from this copy this 21st pair it means this chromosome will get separated from this chromosome during meas in the oogenesis but what happens during down syndrome both the copies of the chromosome undergo non disjunction it means they do not undergo separation due to some reasons or due to some errors in the meiosis and as such such an ohm has both the copies of uh, this what we call as 21st chromosome and when it gets fertilized by sperm which has normal one copy of the 21st chromosome and when such ohm fertilize this very ohm this zygote which results would have three copies it would have three copies of 21st chromosome and that very condition is defined as a trisomy of 21st chromosome so simply we say that the down syndrome is a case of trisomy of 21st chromosome the reasons are that is non disjunction of 21st pair of chromosomes during oogenesis mostly in the females above the age of 34 that is the probability of occurrence of non disjunction of 21st pair of chromosomes during oogenesis mostly occurs in females which are above the age of 34 then we say disorders what are the different disorders in the persons suffering from uh, this <coughs> uh, down syndrome first thing is that you have to keep in mind that a person suffering from down syndrome has an autosomal anomaly so it can be male as well as female persons suffering from autosomes can be males or they can also be females first disorder is that it is also known as mongolism or it's also known as mongolian idiocy idiocy this term mongolism is used for down syndrome because the person suffering from the down syndrome show oriental features they show oriental features like the round moon like face that's why they are known as mongolian idiots sometimes persons suffering from down syndrome are known as mongolian idiots because why the term mongolian or mongolism is used because they have mongolian features or oriental features like like round moon like face and why the term idiocy is used because 
a person suffering from this disorder have low IQ, low intelligence coefficient. Their mental faculties are not fully developed. Then another uh, disorder is that they have widely spaced eyes, widely spaced eyes with epicanthal eye folds, with epicanthal eye folds means the space between their eyes is more for example this is the normal space between eyes but they have more space between these eyes that's known as widely spaced eyes with some folds in their eyelids which we call as epicanthal eye folds is it okay then they have partially another feature is they have partially open mouth with characteristic furrow with characteristic furrow in tongue it means usually they have open mouth usually they have open mouth partially open mouth and their tongue has a typical characteristic furrow the, which is different from the normal furrow that is with a special characteristic furrow then there is uh, uh, what we call as some other difference in the down syndrome individuals and that is that they have this uh, you see this is a, this is the human hand and we have a special crease in our palm it is characteristic to humans but the person suffering from down syndrome have a different crease pattern this is the human crease pattern their crease pattern on palm doesn't resemble uh, in normal humans that is known as simian palm crease that's known as simian palm crease they show simian palm crease so these are some of the uh, disorders which you see in case of persons suffering from uh, mongolism are suffering from down syndrome